Hello, welcome to Wearable Miniatures. I'm Jim, and tonight we're going to be printing and painting a large claw handed demon by Printed Obsession. This is a free STL you can download from myminifactory.com, and it is pre supported. Let's get started. Currently, the STL for this miniature is available for free on MyMiniFactory.com for your 3D printing pleasure. I had pre-primed this black with anti-zenithal sprays of gray and white, but you could just prime it white and move straight to these steps. Using golden high-flow acrylics thin with a little bit of Vallejo's airbrush thinner, I lightly spray a dark purple from below on the side where the light would catch the flames from the female torso's hands. A more vibrant magenta is added as an additional highlight over the purple areas where the light would reflect the most. A third highlight, mixed from the magenta with an off-white, is sprayed on and directly around the flames. For the shadows away from the flames, I spray the rest of the model with cerulean blue followed by a darker indigo from a zenithal position to darken the back where the light of the fire cannot reach. Before heading inside to start the brushwork, I go back and fix any highlights I may have marred with overspray from the shadows. For the blue side, I'll be adding layer highlights, making sure to only brighten the back or blue painted areas slightly. I'll be doing this in three phases, starting with multiple thin passes of dark sky, then a mix of dark sky with crystal blue, and finally ending with crystal blue. For the purple side, I'll follow the same steps, but starting with multiple passes of thinned oozing purple, followed by a mix of oozing purple with toxic boils, and finally ending with toxic boils.
For the flames, I base coat everything with opal skin, which is an off-white paint. I also paint in the eyes while I'm at it. I then layer the flames using pixie paint, leaving some of the off-white, especially towards the bottom. Like the blues and purples before, I then mix pixie paint with the darker chaotic red and continue layering upwards, avoiding the bottom half of the flames. Chaotic red is then used to darken the top of the flames, mostly on the tips. I thin bony matter speed paint and apply it all over the horns, nails, and claws. It's not enough to drastically change the color, but it does tint it to be slightly different. I also add a little bit of thinned down familiar paint to tint the upper portion of the flames. This will mainly only affect the remaining white towards the top, making the fire around her palms seem the hottest. I throw the rest of the base together and up to this point I'm feeling really good about my work. The idea on the base is that this demon's presence is eroding the life from around it with its abnormal flames, and this is where the whole thing takes a drastic turn for the worse. I make some flames out of hot glue and attach it and it does not look good. This is the final result. To start with, the flames are hovering over the base, barely attached. I should probably have glued them to the base before adding the texture, so it looks flush with the ground. Also, the wall of flame is just too flat. It doesn't feel like fire, or like a mass of ebbing and flowing destruction. I think I'm going to either make more hot glue flames and build it up here and there on both sides to thicken and make it more 3D looking, or I may rip the flames away and replace them with 3D printed fire. I think the idea I'm going for here is sound, and the base itself appears fine other than the fire. As for the miniature itself, I thought this might have been one of my best painted pieces despite the little effort that went into it. Until I get to the editing stage and see the zoomed in photos at just how sloppy my highlights still are. They're not smooth, and they're very splotchy. Also I don't know what happened here on the thigh. Despite these mistakes, I still feel good about it, but I definitely need to fix this. To start down that road, I'll be completely renovating my painting setup before the next painting video. I'll be adding more lights and I'll be eyeballing everything multiple times over with the magnifying glass before transitioning to next steps. I want to get better, but I'm just making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Enough is enough, and it's time for a change. It's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you learned something or were inspired to start or expand your own collection. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the content of this video and would like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Jim with Working With Miniatures. I'm truly grateful for your time, and I bid you a fond farewell. Until the next video.